Hello everyone, welcome to my Spearman's rank correlation coefficient tutorial. And as you can see, the formula for Spearman's rank is on the right hand side of the page, and a brief description is underneath, which it basically states that Spearman's rank is a statistical test between two variables which returns a value in the range minus 1 to 1, where negative 1 is perfect negative correlation and positive 1 is perfect positive correlation. So I will begin now by doing our x values, or in this case our max mark, and I'm just going to start in this cell for rank x, and I'm going to type in equals rank.avg, which is the ranking formula for Spearman's rank, and then press tab and select our first value. Next I'm going to type in a comma and select my whole range for the values I'd like to rank, and then press F4 on my keyboard for absolute cell referencing. The reason you do this is so that when you use autofill to drag your formula down, it will not change the cell referencing for your range, only for your first value, which in this case is A3. And then just type in a comma and add a 1 for ascending order. Then close your brackets and press enter, and use autofill to do this for the rest of your x values. Next, I'm going to do our English marks or our y values, and it's the same thing, just do equals rank.avg, press tab, select your first value, press a comma, and then select your whole range, and use F4 for absolute cell referencing, type in a comma, and then add a 1, and close your brackets, and then use autofill to do the rest of your y values. Next, our formula requires the differences. This difference is simply rank x take away rank y. So now I'm just going to do equals, and then rank x, take away rank y. Then press enter, and then just use autofill. Next, our formula requires d squared, or the difference squared. So to do this, I'm going to use the power function. So just type in equals power, and then press tab. And I'm going to select my value of d, and then type in a comma, and press 2 to square it, and then press enter. And then just use autofill to do the rest. Next, our formula requires to do sigma d squared, which just means add up all of our d squared values. So type in equals sum, press tab, and then select our range for d squared values to be summed, and then close our bracket, and press enter. And we see we get a value of 5.5. Now we need to multiply this value by 6, as the formula requires, so just type in equals, and then 6 with an asterisk, and this asterisk is found by pressing shift, and then 8, and then press enter, and you get a value of 33. Next we need our value of n. n is simply the number of items that you have in a set. And to do this, Excel has a function, so just type in equals count, and then press enter, and then you can select either values x or y, as you have the same number of both. So I'm just going to select my x values here, and then close my brackets and press enter, and you can see that I have 10 x and y values. Now I'm going to have to work out n, open bracket, n squared minus 1, close bracket, and to do this it's simply equals, and then I'm going to select my value of n, and then the time sign, and open brackets, and I'm going to use my power function from previously up here. And I'm just going to select my value of 10 again, then type in a comma, and press 2, and then close my brackets, take away 1, and close this bracket. And now essentially what I'm doing here is 10 times, open brackets, 10 squared, minus 1, close brackets. And then hit enter, and we get a value of 990. Now for the value of Spearman's rank, correlation coefficient, I'm just going to combine this value and this value into this formula, and we should get our answer. So to do this, just type in equals, and then 1 minus, open brackets, 33 over 990, and then close our brackets. And when we get our value, it's 0 0.96 recurring, and this indicates that our values of x and y up here have a very strong positive correlation. This concludes the Spearman's Rank Correlation Coefficient Tutorial. I hope you have found what you're looking for. Thank you for watching.